Good question. I think uh, the 50 Fit for 55 package uh, is a huge and very ambitious package. It's really complex and uh, brings a lot of challenges for the refractory industry. The refractory industry is a CO2 uh, intensive industry, an energy intensive industry. And uh, I think uh, there will be a lot of changes necessary uh, to be fit for 55. Uh, that's on the, on the one hand. And on the other hand is that the refractory industry um, is, is an essential part uh, of those parts of industry uh, which make uh, the Green Deal uh, possible. Because um, I if you want to uh, come up with, uh, at the end, um, with less emissions in Europe, uh, which means coming to a more circular e economical model in Europe, uh, that means more recycling of metals in Europe, we will need a lot of refractory materials um, in, in that kind of processes, uh, more than now. And so the refractory industry will be part um, of that solution. But of course, uh, they will need um, industry tailored, specifically tailored measures uh, to come up with their emissions and uh, that will need um, yeah, uh, some some time uh, to reach that goals, but I'm confident that uh, together with the industrial stakeholders, uh, the policy makers, and the administration, we come finally to a good solution. Of course, the the emissions, um, the refractory industry. Uh, is producing a CO2 intensive uh, material in Austria. It's, uh, yeah, let's say, magnesite, magnesium carbonate, uh, and dolomite. Um, and it, uh, CO2 emissions are um, yeah, uh, not avoidable. But th the thing is, uh, what we should do with that kind of emissions which uh, can be captured. Uh, CCU can be just part one part of the solution, but um, we have to think about um, carbon capture and storage um, possibilities um, which should be safe uh, for uh, the environment, of course. Um, there are still some questions uh, which are open and which have to be answered. We have to keep industry here. Uh, they should uh, produce um, on the basis of the high European standards, but they have to be in on an international level competitive. Um, and uh, that's not so easy concerning CBAM, for example, um, effects on exports, uh, but uh, we don't know how our trade partners will answer uh, on, on, on CBAM um, um, regulation. So I think uh, uh, it has to be quite well discussed with all stakeholders involved and uh, I'm optimistic that at the end of the day we will have a good solution.